over in Scripture, the Bible says, if you have a relationship to Christ, that God is with you all the time. He says, I will not leave you orphans. I will not leave you comfortless. I will send the comforter. He says, lo, I am with you always, even in the end of the world. He's always with you. You're never really fully alone. It makes me think of a few years ago, Kay and I had to fly to Hong Kong to uh, do a seminar for some of our missionaries. You may not realize this, but this church sponsors nearly 4,000 missionaries in 104 countries. And every time you give money on Sunday, give your offering, part of that money, you're sponsoring over or nearly 4,000 missionaries in 104 countries. Now, about every year, Kay and I will try to take an overseas trip to go and talk to and train and help and encourage some of these missionaries. And so a few years ago, we went to meet with the group of the missionaries that are in Hong Kong. And as we went up to the uh, L.A. airport, I went up to the ticket agent and I said, uh, how long does this, this uh, flight take? And she looked up and she said, it takes 17 hours. And I gulped, I said, 17 hours? She said, yes, 17 hours. I said, is there a movie on it? <laughs> she said, yes, in fact, there are two movies on it. I said, 17 hours? That is a long flight. She looked up at me, she said, you're afraid of flying. I said, moi? She said, yeah, I can, I can always tell your type. You don't like these long flights. You're afraid of flying. And then she looked down at my ticket. She says, I notice it says here, Reverend Warren. You're a pastor. You're a man of God. You're not supposed to be afraid. The Bible says, I am with you all. Always. I said, no, ma'am, you misquoted that verse. It says, lo, I am with you always. Lo, I am with you always. Now, not at 35,000 feet. Lo, I am with you always. So let's get it right. So we get on this plane, and about halfway through this 17-hour flight across the Pacific, we went through, and I've, I've traveled around the world, on, and so I'm pretty seasoned, we went through the most horrendous storm I've ever been on, been in, in a plane. And we were pitching and jolting, the plane was tilting and flipping and everything, and everybody was getting pretty, pretty antsy, Kay was getting excited herself, and it was, everybody was obviously disturbed by this. And so they came on the phone, on the, on the speakerphone and said, is there a minister on the plane? So I guess they wanted some comfort or something. I raised my hand, and they said, you know, the, 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 the flight, they're pretty upset. He said, can you do something spiritual? So I took an offering. 